I'm, I'm a little concerned because I've got I had some dental work done uh, a long time ago. What, Craig? You're European. I know, but I had it done anyway. <laughs> And so I went to my, my dentist, and uh, my dentist was sick, so I couldn't get it fixed. And what's happened is I got a little bridge work in here, and it's coming loose, and it's making me, every now and again, I, when I'm talking, I just go, <laughs> and do a little, it does a little farty noise in my mouth. Little thing, little sound. Yeah, yeah, so, so when I'm talking, and then I've got a funny feeling that at a certain point, because it's getting wiggly, that at a certain point it's going to fly out. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll be awesome, thanks. <laughs> Thanks for applauding that. Oh, that'd be so great. That'd be entertaining. Yeah, if your teeth fly out in the middle of the show. That actually would be quite entertaining. It would be awesome, yeah. You know, we should, we should do that. Uh, do we have anyone here that will knock my teeth in or out? You'd like to do that, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. Is he crying? What the hell is going on? I think it looks like it's like babies. It looks like he's crying, but I think it's just gas. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know that thing with babies, like they look like they're laughing, but it's just gas. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of, lot of hot air. I don't think it's hot air. It's just little, you know, baby temperature air. No, I, I was talking about him. <laughs> There's something going on. You guys having a tiff? No, yeah, we're we're not talking. Anyway, look back to my teeth. I'm gonna have to. I uh, have these, you know, once, I tell you this, I used to be a carny, and uh, I know it's surprising, isn't it? And, and uh, one, you know, we had, used to have this ride called the waltzers, and the, I, I used to work on the waltzers, and you have to spin them around like this. You're kind of like, you know, like spanking someone who's naughty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lesbian Roar really getting involved yeah. tonight, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so... So I used to have to spin these things around, and there was an old lady once when I was spinning it around, and she was wearing dentures, and they flew right out <laughs> of the ride, and it went under this thing, the waltzer, and they got crushed. Oh. Yes, that was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> if that shocked you, then you are in for a rough -la -la. ride tonight. against allergy congestion. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. when they're doing pretend excitement. Look, I do this. Ooh. Yeah, it's awesome. I pretend uh, that I've, I'm touching the breasts of a wide apart breasty. Yeah, it's a tall, uh, tall, wide apart breasty person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, imagine, right, imagine right now, that, and then cut to him. Like, yeah, see, like that. Or maybe I can telepathically move Secretariat, telekinesis, that's what it is, right? You ready? Go. <laughs> Where else can you see that on TV? Where else? Where else can you see some kind of telekinetic horseman love on TV? 
You probably can on the internet, I'm sure. But where on TV? <sighs> it's a great day for America, everybody, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. Yeah, all right. I guess we'll press on. Um, you know that there are rumors that NBC is planning to produce a new season of the sitcom Friends. I'm like, oh, oh, I'm excited. Look at my nipples. I knew. <laughs> Experts say that it's been nine years since the show was on, went off the air, so probably only a few people would watch, making it the highest rated show on NBC. Boom, right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right there, boom. <laughs> That's right, I went after him. Boom. Here's, here's your late night joke. You ready? I've got yeah, a late yeah, night joke. Yeah. It's like, you know, when the, the middle aged white guy comes out and says a joke and everyone thinks it's important? Right, yeah. That's what's going to happen right now. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not yet. No, okay. All right, now. A brewery in Japan has introduced a beer that's made from elephant dung. I know. <laughs> How do you market something like that? I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I make sure it comes from an elephant's ass. <laughs> Stay crappy, my friends. <laughs> Would you drink elephant dung beer? Oh, who says I haven't already? Oh. <laughs> Would you drink elephant dung beer? <laughs> Horses can't drink beer. Oh, yeah, there is that song, Beer for My Horses. Do you like that song? Yeah, I thought you might. <laughs> the state of Colorado is bracing for an onslaught of stoner tourists. You know, people who come to the state on 420 to enjoy the newly legalized marijuana in Colorado. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be that forceful if you were actually stoned. If you'd actually be smoking marijuana, you'd be like, yeah. <laughs> this doesn't look anything like the price is right. What the hell's going on? <laughs> lot of, the, a lot of marijuana in Colorado now. They had to even change the Colorado state slogan to what happens in, you know? <laughs> What's good about today? Oh, I tell you what is good. Uh, tax day is done. It's uh, I'm done. I've, I've paid it. I, yeah, yeah, thanks everybody. Yeah. yeah, I always, I always feel a bit better once I've paid my taxes. I don't like doing it, but I feel it's my duty, like uh, hosting this show. I, I, <laughs> I'll show you my tax return. I don't care. I'm an open book. You got my tax return? Look, I gave it. There you are. There's uh, Craig Michelle Ferguson. Uh, uh, Occupation Sad Clown, uh, what's the name of Dancing with Pearls? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Made a lot of money backing that ass up this year. Do oh. you see that? Look at that. Yeah. Number four, backing that ass. Wow. Look at that. Almost seven grand. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave you a quarter? Everybody! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, if you knew how old that joke was, you wouldn't applaud. Anyway, the... Taxes are, are, are very complicated, though. The UX, the, the UX tax code. See, I can hardly say it, it is that complicated. <laughs> the tax code in the US is 7 million words. And all the, all the different regulations, it's almost as hard to follow as an episode of Game of Thrones. <laughs> I've never seen Game of Thrones. As you can see from my tax return, I cannot afford cable. <laughs> If you didn't get your taxes done uh, on time, you, the IRS may charge you a penalty. And the last thing I want to get is penalized, right, Jeff? Penalized, you know? yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you giggling at penalized? Could you telepathically penalize me? <laughs> All right. All right, I'll do it right now. You ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see? <laughs> anyway, tax evasion is, uh, you've got to be careful though. You get, pay your taxes. That's how the feds finally nailed uh, Al Capone. It's amazing. After all the stuff Al Capone did, they got him on simple tax evasion. Kind of his own fault though. You should have known you can't write on your tax form uh, that thing with that guy. <laughs> Concrete overshoes. <laughs> Wise guy hat.
<laughs> wise, wise guy hat. <laughs> and, you know, the hat, you know. Yeah, hey. I got it, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe that is a deduction, though, if you're a gangster. Okay. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough of that. We, we should. We should you're, really you're cut done. and run. Cut and run. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right. All right. Okay. What do you want to do? You want to? You want to? I'm having a little uh, technical problem with my head today. Oh really? I have that every day. Yeah. What's happening? <laughs> What's happening with your head? Is it going like that? Yeah, it's too late. That's yeah. the exact same problem I have. My head goes like that too. Does your head go? Like look at look. We've oh all my, got this it. This is great. It, it must be a virus. <laughs> Do you know what? Do you know what we've had in my house? My wife had the norovirus. The the norovirus. Yeah, the norovirus. It's the thing you get in Britain from eating horses or something. It's uh, oh no 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 eating horses no. No, it's uh, we were uh, during the break we, we we went to Britain and she got the norovirus. It's the it's it's. <laughs> if she was an elephant, I could make a lot of beer. I think you know what I'm saying. What, did I go too far? She was just, you know, she was sick. It was no, bad. It's all right. Yeah, yeah it was a virus. I didn't get it, though. Uh, or at least if I did, I didn't notice. <laughs> oh, I noticed. <laughs> get us out of here, man. Tonight's program is brought to you by Wise Guy Hat Cream. Is your brow all itchy like? Apply a little bit and forget about it. Are still in my mouth. Still in my mouth. I made a couple of farty noises, but it was nothing to do with my teeth. Do you see what I did? <laughs> when will Craig's teeth come out? Stay tuned. It's a cliffhanger. They were all excited. <laughs> hey, time is it, Jeffrey Pierce? Well, I'll tell you, Craig Ferguson. It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who telepathically paid his taxes. <laughs> no, I actually paid him, Jeff. <laughs> I actually paid my taxes. Time to take advice from a man who actually, actually paid, his, paid taxes. his taxes. Yeah, thanks very much. All right, uh, let's do the jingle ourselves. You oh, ready? Yeah, yeah. All right. Tweets and emails. Tweets and emails. Try it in, Secretary. Tweets and emails. <laughs> what is he doing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's been acting weird ever since that thing happened with his boobies. No. All right, this is from... Oh, hey, there it goes. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny, because I wasn't even thinking about it then. Yeah. yeah. This is from Anthony in Logan City in Queensland, Australia. Well, you. well, well. Yeah. Now, that's interesting because we have a wide array of uh, lesbians from Australia in Lesbian Row oh, this yeah. evening. Oh, yeah. Now, remember, remember what I always say about Australian lesbians? They go round the other way. <laughs> annoy anybody why would no somebody going oh why would that annoy you i mean look you you know what you're getting into when you come here if you're going to be annoyed by me saying lesbians go around you know what it is it's like people looking to be annoyed i think looking to be annoyed <laughs> yeah they, they go out to be annoyed being annoyed is what they want it's like uh, it's like it's been happening for years people used to go to the guillotine and go oh i didn't know they'd be chopping someone's head off <laughs> So I'm not. I'm on the here for the puppet show. You knew. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, this is from Anthony in Australia, uh, Queensland. You ever been to Queensland? Dude, oh yeah, all the time. <laughs> What about Australia? You ever yeah, been to Australia? Uh, yeah. All right, uh, dear Craig and Jeff, the big news, drinking is down in Australia. What is the world coming to? I don't know. It's topsy-turvy. <laughs> I didn't know drinking was down in Australia. I, was, I got a bit annoyed at the Australian lesbians earlier on, and I said to them, you think you're great Australians because you have animals that you put inside other animals. Well, I think, you know, it's like, oh, look, a kangaroo, and then inside, another little kangaroo. <laughs> I 
think what you should do is have different animals inside the bigger animal. So, oh look, kangaroo, what's inside? Giraffe! <laughs> Tiny little giraffe! That would impress me, not a kangaroo, other kangaroo, boring! <laughs> kangaroo, giraffe, and then inside the giraffe, what would you have inside the giraffe? A, a goat. A goat! <laughs> now that's a weird animal! You know what they got down there as well? The duck-billed platypus. Yeah, yeah, the duck-billed platypus. That's a, that's a, uh, it's a platypus, not like a regular American platypus. Right. We don't have them here, platypuses. No I don't platypus. know why they call it a duck-billed platypus. It's not like, is there a regular platypus that doesn't have a duck-bill? No. I don't know if there is. There might be. Yeah, there's a platypus. It's to denote the duck-bill. <laughs> This is from Jamie in Frisco in Texas, who says, uh, you ever been to Texas? Beautiful place. It's lovely down there, isn't it? All my exes are there. Oh. What the hell? Really? No. Really? No. Really? That's it? That, that gets a round? Just what, that, that, that gets a round of applause. All my exes live in Texas. And, my, and the comedy gold of a giraffe inside a kangaroo gets nothing? Nothing? You people! Mm. <laughs> and they came back. They came back with a very strong. We have no idea. <laughs> this is from Jamie in Frisco, in Texas. Said, "Dear Craig and Jeff, yesterday I sat here on the computer watching clips of your show when I should have been finishing my taxes. What should I do now? Run." This is from uh, David in Cape Coral in Florida. You ever been there? Cape Coral? Uh, you know what I like about Florida? What's that? It's the shape. You like, you like the shape of it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's aesthetically pleasing. It's shape. just, you know, so when I look at a map of America and my eye is just drawn to Florida. Yeah, you can't help it. You, you can't, can't help it. You, you don't want to look, but you just go, oh. Yeah. No, it's like, oh, Wyoming, Rhode Island. Oh, there's Florida. No, 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 yeah. No, I like all the other states, no, but that great. one just draws the eye. Yeah, it looks great. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, my girlfriend just told me she thought we should have Valentine's Day every month. How bad a sign is this? Pretty bad. <laughs> She's going to want a cat pretty soon, too. If she doesn't already have one. <laughs> Do you have a cat? Yeah, I have a cat. It's uh, inside of a goat, which is inside of an elephant. <laughs> <clears throat> uh. This is uh, from uh, Kaiki in Sao Paulo in Brazil. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, Kaiki is a magnificent looking creature. Ooh. Look at that. Wow. This is from Kaiki, the eagle. <laughs> Not an eagle stuffed inside another animal, just an eagle as it comes. A plain eagle. <laughs> So let me get that. It's one plain eagle and one goat inside a cat. That's right, yeah. Uh, Kaiki says, uh, Dear Craig, I want to live in your hair. <laughs> I think it's probably lost something in the translation. No, no, no. I could have an eagle live in my hair. I'd you like can't have an eagle live in your hair. It, first of all, uh, PETA would be very angry. They'd be like, that's not the ethical treatment of animals, keeping a, a wild bird of prey in your hair. Plus, the mice in my pants would be terrified. <laughs> I think that'd be great. That'd be awesome, man. What? For the show, if you had an eagle on your head. Nah. I'd just be like every other late night host then. <laughs> oh, here we go. Another guy with an eagle in his hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if Jay had only put an eagle in his hair, none of this would have happened. Uh, and finally, this is, uh, this is from Tony and Alba's Pizza in San Jose in California. Wow. Love ordering from there. Great place. Well, look, they, and they sent a, a picture of some tits sitting on a piece oh, of wood. that's nice. Look at these little tits there. Beautiful little tits. Yeah, all lined up, three of them. <laughs> Dear Craig, we want to have a celebrity pizza list for our store. What toppings do you like on your pizza? Uh, why would that matter? <laughs> I'm a celebrity? No, 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 no. No.
You say that you like, like celebrity has any value. I mean, it does, uh, uh, pepperoni. But the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the idea, uh, extra mushrooms and extra cheese. But the, uh, just no pineapple, all right? And no animals stuffed inside other animals. Yeah, no, no. See, the thing about celebrity is uh, that um, it's not really a thing. It used to be a thing when, like, you know, Charlie Chaplin and stuff. Like, you'd be a celebrity then because you were famous and you did stuff. Now you'd be a celebrity just because you're a skank and on TV. Yeah. yeah. It's not really a thing, is it? No. So what you're saying, Craig, is you're a skank and you're on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to take a quiet moment, everybody, before we go to commercial yeah, break? Yeah, a quiet moment? Yeah. All right. Welcome back. My first guest is a beautiful actress stuffed inside another beautiful actress. No, just a beautiful actress, just a plain, not plain, beautiful, a beautiful actress. Welcome back, everybody. My <laughs> Never mind. My first guest, or... Friend. Friend is a beautiful actress. She stars in Anger Management, which airs Thursdays on uh, FX. Take a look at this. <laughs> Hard to believe, but this is going to be my first actual role in the hay. It's also your first stable relationship. <laughs> the butter guys liked it. <laughs> oh my god, I think your joke just killed the horse. <laughs> Lovely. You look, I really like what you're doing here. Thank you. Yeah, it's really, you're kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic, although I'm not sure about killing horses for comedy. I know, I'm sorry. That's a... Yeah, that was a... That was a silly clip. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe... Of, of all nights to show I know. that. I know. I'm I, sorry, horsey. What's your yeah. name? <laughs> That's uh, Secretariat. D d right, yes, I know. I'm sorry. You haven't been here since the new studio, have you? I haven't been here since the new studio. It's charming. It's you like it? Yeah, charming usually means very small and unappealing. <laughs> and if you're a realtor, if you're going to get buy a new house or look at a new house, they say it's charming. What does that mean to you? I don't know. I live in a charming house. You live Which in means a it's small. <laughs> yeah. Do you live in a very small house? Yeah. yeah. How small? Is it inside another bigger it's house? <laughs> it's, in the, it's, it's like an Australia. Have you ever been to Australia? <laughs> no, never. All oh, right. So you don't know about their system of keeping animals inside other animals. <laughs> <laughs> you're so silly. No, no, it's my, t my teeth. I'm, mm. not... I'm so sorry. I know you're afraid one's going to fly out. Well, not one. It's a little bridge. It's like, it's like three in a row. <laughs> like this thing comes out the That's whole side of the face. a little bridge. That's yeah. a big bridge. It, well, I grew up in Scotland. You know what I mean? In the 1970s, dentistry was just a pipe dream. I'm no. the same age. I'm the same age as you. I no, don't... you're not. You're 10 years younger than me. Mm, At not least. Not so but God bless you. But yeah, I have... I have some funky teeth. I shouldn't have admitted that because I hope you one day I could like get a toothpaste commercial and now they know I have a bunch of rubble in my mouth. <laughs> you don't have, <laughs> you know. You don't have rubble. I'm looking at your teeth now. They're very attractive. If I was a toothpaste millionaire, I'd have you. You know those uh, commercials that are like if you're not, you know, whitening, you're yellowing. I'm yellowing. I've never whitened my teeth. I'm the only one in Hollywood that's never whitens their teeth. I only whiten one. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's what I should do. <laughs> just to get a different right, color. Right, I can right. what have you got? It's like David Bowie's eyes, you know? I it's know. like, oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I know. I should do that. Yeah, I you know. should. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Everything all right? The the Charlie Sheen thing is going great. You guys are the biggest show on TV now. Congratulations. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. That's are you all right? Are your pants right enough? <laughs> well, what's I'm, going no, on? No, they're not. I'm like, you know, I'm not comfortable without my swimsuit on underneath because last time I was last here. Last time I you were here, <laughs> that's right, you were... I'm never sure how to sit, you know, without showing... Do you want a blanket or something? Do you feel like... <laughs> no, it's fine. I should be past this. I'm 40 years old. I shouldn't care what people think about my funky inner thighs. When you I'm... don't have funky inner thighs. You look great. But if you so do feel self-conscious about your legs, may I suggest longer pants? <laughs> No. Do you, why do you do, you play a therapist in this? Uh, I in this play a woman named Kate Wales. I'm a yeah, I'm a, I'm a therapist, and I'm having sex with Charlie Sheen. That's are you I mean on the show. I'm not in real. No, just kidding. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. You should have been yeah. here for the monologue. Oh my God. So, um, so are you in therapy? No. Why not? <laughs> well, you clearly have a complex about your legs and your teeth. It's time. <laughs> No, the teeth I'm okay. I made peace with my keyboard teeth. The legs is a new one because since I've given birth, I don't exercise. I don't do anything. I was I ate a pot pie and a pie. A pot pie and a pie in your green room. Both. I didn't know we had pot pies and pies. Yeah, chicken pot pie. And then I also had like a like a French silk pie, which then We have French silk pies? <laughs> and now my legs are inner thigh pies. No, no. Can I just I'm sorry to do we don't have money for a bag, but you're giving away silk uh -oh. pies? Oh. It is cozy. You have this band of hooligans and no band. Hey, wait. Um, Speaking of money, yo, last we? time I was on the show, I got a bag of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, no, and I know you don't. Oh, well, I came back. I want more. Okay. <laughs> so a bandit made off with my loot. They did. A bandit made off. You were attacked by bandits? No, my car. Small bandits inside larger <laughs> bandits? <laughs> Inside a cozy house, inside a less cozy house. No, 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 no. No, it doesn't work that way. No, I, I had uh, my car parked overnight, and uh, as you do, because what am I going to do? Drive around. Was it outside your cozy house? No, it was outside someone else's cozy house. Oh, hello! Renting. There's the story. There's the story. So, whose house was it parked outside? No, 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 no. No, oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I was right. renting a house while my cozy house was, was being, being renovated. Renovated. Right. It was really cozy. Okay. And, um, yeah, and they didn't take anything else in my car. They went in the middle console. They must have seen a bag with dollar signs, and they were like, pay dirt. And, <laughs> I mean, can you imagine breaking into someone's car and being like, <laughs> I mean, that was so that yeah, I know. It's a bag of quarters, but now you've gotten chintzier, and it's not the quarters. It's chintzy. nickels, it's yeah, it's nickels, nickels now. But there's, I think there's a there's a chocolate dollar in here. <laughs> but it looks like it's been fingered. <laughs> you know when people have been, you know, you, uh, and you don't want a fingered yeah. chocolate dollar. <laughs> but so anyhow, they they didn't take the baby seat, the stroller, very um, a few expensive items. Well, you can have this. You can have one of those, okay. and another one if you can answer the next question. Go ahead. Why is a duck-billed platypus <laughs> not just called a platypus? Why is it called a duck-billed platypus? I genuinely don't know the answer to this. I got nothing. And we'll be right back. We'll be right back with Selma Blair. Whatever you think we're talking about, we're not talking about that now. <laughs> right? Right. Right. So, you're in therapy then? <laughs> now I am. No, you're not. You should, though. Therapy's awesome. It's really helped me. I'm awesome now. I feel great. Who's your therapist? Write the number. I need I'll, I'll give you. I'll let you know. She's a lovely, very, very clever really? woman. She really helped me, yeah, because I was in uh, great distress and she figured things out for me. <sighs> yeah, I could use that. Yeah? Really? Well, I'll, I'll do something now then. I'll be your therapist. Okay. All right then. Let's see how it goes. Why'd you hit your legs? <laughs> I told you because of the pie. <laughs> Did you were fine with your legs before the pie? 
No, I, don't think I think it goes back to your childhood. It might. <laughs> Melissa Stern was always a faster runner. I was slow, and I always felt like these legs didn't do right by me, and now they're full of pie as They well. ran you all the way to Hollywood stardom. Mm, kind of. What was the girl's name? Her name was Melissa Stern, and she was the fastest runner in our school, and I was Is she in Hellboy? No. Are you in Hellboy? Yes. I can remember. Melissa. Yep. <laughs> Fancy an awkward pause, or do you want to just leave? Awkward pause. Do I guess? I will guess awkward pause, then. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that looked like more like scornful laugh. <laughs> But it was awkward. Okay, I'll do some scorn as well then. Eh? Oh, no, I can't take it. I'd be in therapy too long. No, no, it's fine. I'll just do a little bit of scorn. <laughs> <laughs> that was welcoming compared to how other people treat me. <sighs> so, do you want these then? Yeah, how much money is in them? Uh, how much? It's not... You've really scaled down. <laughs> If I had a nickel for every time a woman has said that to me. <laughs> Silver Blair, everybody, we're right. and a comedian. His show, Nathan For You, airs Thursday nights on Comedy Central. Take a look at this. One of my least popular ideas was for a completely germ-free hot dog stand. At outdoor food carts, it's easy for germs to transfer from money to your food. So to completely eliminate this, I designed a hands-free method to apply condiments to the wiener. So you have to up, one up, one down. When it hits the table, the onions will fall. And drop it. Keep dropping it. Up and down. Right. Drop it. Fast. This is not going to work. It's not That's work. nothing to do with the contraption. If you drop a hot dog, you drop a hot dog. <laughs> Nathan Fielder, everybody. Nathan, how lovely to see you. So nice to see you, too. Oh, I didn't know you were Canadian. Oh, yeah, I am. Uh, yeah, no, I could tell. Well, you did know, because I didn't say. Anything. No, I did know you were Canadian. Yeah. I, I, the reason why I bring it up, I've always appreciated that when you go to Canada, the animals are just what they are. <laughs> like, you don't go into Canada and see a moose stuffed inside another moose, right? It's just, it's like, it, there you are, moose. Nothing going on here, just yeah. a moose. We don't, yeah, it's just, the animals are normal. <laughs> so far. <laughs> I noticed when uh, Selma came out, you complimented the way she looked. Are you going to do I'm this? getting there. I'm getting there. I like your shirt. Thank you. Very nice. And I also like you wearing a green top underneath it. That's called color blocking. It looks nice. You your know pants, I frankly, aren't bringing the sparkle. But you in them is, mister. Thank you. There. Enough? Yeah. Well, when I was walking through the hallway, they have all these photos of past guests, and they're all wearing suits, and I realized walking out here, I'm severely underdressed. No, <laughs> don't worry about it. You look great. Plus, you're Canadian, to, and people expect that kind of plaid about. shirt from you. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Even Canadians would be like, yeah, we like plaid shirts. What's the deal, right? We like plaid shirts. Yeah, I like plaid shirts. Oh, you do? Yeah. Could you get me one of those suckers? I mean, you could have this one. No, it, it, I... <laughs> I have a kangaroo in here, so... Uh, uh, hey, um... Uh, you're... What part of Canada are you from? Vancouver. Oh. Have you been? Yes. Yes, I like it there. It's uh, really nice. It's, I like Canada, to be honest. I'm very fond of Canada. I have family up there, but on the other side. What do you mean the other side? They're dead. Oh. No. no. They're on the other, the other side of Canada. You know, they're in uh, the, east, the east part of Canada. What province? Uh, Ontario. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, but... Stop it. Don't, you don't know them. <sighs> Sorry about that. Tell me about your show. It's the big hot dog uh, thing. 
<laughs> yeah, so it's all hot dog humor. No, it's uh, no. Come on. No. Uh, yeah, on my show, I go to. It's a Comedy Central show, and I go to real small businesses and give them these really out-of-the-box ideas to improve their business or to market themselves. So that that was the the clip we saw was like a. So I was showcasing. That was a good idea. Right, but it didn't work out because people were really annoyed with the onion dispenser. Right. And people were getting really frustrated, and the guy who owned the hot dog stand did not like it. Well, that's going to get in your way as a business idea right there. Sorry. Is this I mine, or? Uh, yeah, you can have it. <laughs> now, can I, uh, is it just for here, or can I take home the mug after? You can take home the mug and the liquid in it. <laughs> Okay, I'll save it then. Yeah, yeah, I save it. <laughs> you, uh, you might want to drink the liquid before you get... Are you going back to Vancouver or do you live in L.A.? No, I live in L.A. now. Uh -huh. But yeah, if you do have like some uh, saran wrap we could put over the top just so I could, it doesn't spill in my car or anything. I don't, I don't think I have anything like that. I've got a pen. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Okay. Yeah. There you are. Here's a pen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there you go. Oh, hey! <laughs> what the hell? You look exactly like you peed yourself, you know? It's like right on the pee area. Like, uh, I know, it, you know, it's all fun and larks until you walk out of here and run into someone attractive outside, and you're like, oh, it was just something I was doing, and they're like, mm-hmm, I was going to sleep with you, but now look. Well, why would you, why would you say the pen worked? <laughs> all right, sorry I, about your cushion. No, no, that's all right. All right. Oh, you sorry. know what you do? Here's what you do. I was a... Oh, my bum's Yeah, no, you turn it around. It's like that. Like, sorry. I'll pay for the, you know. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, kid. Uh, I mean, you committed and everything, Good but I don't know. Good yeah. old-fashioned uh, oh. comedy. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I should, I, I'm messing all this up. Sorry. No, are you kidding me? This is going great. Um, Did you see the monologue? <laughs> You're fine. So tell me a bit about yourself. Wow, well, I... I was originally inside another animal, and uh, as many of us were. What I'm saying, what I'm saying to you, Nathan, I'm a mammal. Are you a mammal yourself? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Of course yeah. you are. Yes, I think. I don't know. I mean, we've just met. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a human. Right. Yeah. If you could be any uh, any other type of animal, what would you be? Uh. Leopard? Maybe like a, a hamster or something. <laughs> you know, s simple life. Could be a dangerous life, though, for uh, what I know about hamsters. They tend to get round the back of the refrigerator and die. You have to put them in a cage or something. Where were you when I was trying to care for my hamster? <laughs> No, I, I... Everything's online these days. <laughs> so you you get hamsters online? Um, yeah, probably, actually. How do they get delivered, though? Or maybe they just turn up. <laughs> 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 that made me laugh, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you ordered me online? <laughs> oh, you, you I was being the hamster, though. Oh, oh, okay. no,